State won the toss, and they will defer. Jace Christman puts it in the air, and a flag immediately. Ken Williamson. Offside, kicking team number 18. Five-yard penalty for the fair catch spot. First down. Unbelievable starting field position after the flag. It's Henry Ruggs, the speedster on the flip. And he's just Good shy. He's ready to go. Yeah, the game day people are asking for a refund from your earlier report, Todd. On yes, second down, prior to the snap, ball start, offense number 70. Five-yard penalty, remains second down. That's Alex Leatherwood. We'll watch for whether he can do that. Second down and 11 after a couple of markers. Here's the tight end. Good protection. And the throw is a beauty of a ball. You know absolutely where Jerry Judy is going to be. He's going to be in the slot. He got a matchup here on a linebacker. That's Errol Thompson at 250 pounds. And Tua Tungavailo identified it right off the bat. Bama goes quickly back to Harris. Can't defend Crashing. a guy of his caliber with a linebacker. Harris again. Picking his way down to the goal line. And in for the touchdown. The signal on the field is touchdown, Alabama. And that didn't take long. And Tunga Bailoa looks just fine. Fighting at the goal line. Got a good view from this angle. Hard to see exactly where yep, the ball it. is. That's a better look on the slow mo in reverse. No problem, you can't see the knees on that side, on that angle. Quick review. After further review, ruling really on the field stands. Touchdown. Hostile environment to go right down the field and score. Joseph Bolivis, extra points. Missed one last week, nails that one. So Mississippi State will get the football for the first time. And the fair catch signaled for at the sixth. Mississippi State comes off their bye week. Extra preparation for Alabama. Intercepted. Picked off by Shane Lee. And that's how Tommy Stevens. Never Steven saw Shane Lee. He's a linebacker. He's right here. He's going to come up and kind of get lost. And Tommy Stevens loses him behind that offensive line. Never sees him. Throws that ball right in between the three and the five. And for Shane Lee, there's been a lot of conversation this year about this. Off the sudden change. Tunga Baloa comes out throwing, and wide open, it's Harris out of the backfield. Touchdown, Alabama. Play they scored against LSU a week ago. Here is Harris, and there's the, the, the safety. He's going to get picked on the outside, goes inside. Nobody goes with Harris to the outside. He caught a back shoulder throw against LSU for the touchdown last week. This time, he's wide open. Full of us boots it through. Same. Great commentary and analysis. <laughs> my, my favorite we hope. 14 0 Bama. Isaiah Zubra again. A fair everything cat. going on around the college football world. Imagine this score is resonating early. Tell they motion back into the backfield. Now split them out. And Stevens will take off. Has first down yardage and then some. Tommy Stevens can do this for you. Team. See how they respond. But a Kylan Hill, that's always a strong play. Up the middle for three. Try to run against the bridge. Passing game. Bama, a little hesitation on the pressure, and it works. Seven. Personal foul, face mask. Defense number 99. 15 yards penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. It's like Davis. Davis. Mississippi State here. No, nowhere to go with this football. And Tommy Stevens just trying to extend this play. Raquan Davis gets in there and gets a, a, a big fistful of face masks. A good call. And a first down at the 22 yard line now. First down and 10. Here's Stevens. Throws. And a completion. It's Hill out of the backfield. Game. The give is to Hill, trying to pick his way down to the goal line. The confidence Alabama got from there, two scores quickly. Coming off the LSU loss a week ago, the Bama defense has to be feeling the effects a little bit. Some concern there. He's 
are always so hard to tell these angles with a lot of bodies in there on the goal line. That's why the ruling on the field is so important in these situations. It's very rare that they overturn these calls. After further review, runner was down with the ball at the one foot line. Wow. That's going to be third and goal at the one foot line. Ball will place on the left hash. The clock will start on the ready for play segment. With all the window dressing, it's Kylan Hill who skips into the end zone. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Pressman, the junior from Houston, puts it. Tonga Bailoa, the throw, blitzes and picked up, but that's what we wanted to watch for. How would Tonga... Tonga Bailoa missed his target there. A flag comes in. Cameron Dantzler had the pass interference. Defense number three. Kennedy will place the ball at the spot of the foul. Includes an automatic first down. Need to watch him against Judy today. From the 30, here's Harris, able to turn the corner. Again to Harris. And that'll go for a loss on the room is for Alabama. With all that, give it to Harris. There'd be some confusion in the backfield there. Third down and nine. Some pressure. Tonga Bailoa hit as he throws, able to complete to Judy. On first down and ten on the Mississippi side, state side of the field. It's Judy on the slant, and he's off to the races. And there's some power. A flag comes in late as he hits the pylon. If it stands, the personal foul, face mask, offense number four. 15 yards penalty for spot of foul. It'll be first down. Back to they start at the 19, first down and 10. It's Harris on the ground. Ran into his own guy. Better. After the play was over, personal foul, late hit, offense number 69. The penalty is 15 yards from the city spot. The down the count. It's second down. Brandon Dickerson. At the 37 after a couple of penalties. Self-inflicted wounds. Tungo by low and a Harris out of the backfield to get a lot of the yardage back. Slips a tackle. At the 14 of Mississippi State. Tungo by Loa. Tried to hook up with Waddle on the slant. Pass interference. Defense number 32. The penalty will place the ball at the spot of the foul and includes an automatic first down. That's Brian Cole. Penalties have taken over on this drive for both teams. Tunga by Loa to throw for it. Devontae Smith, ball on the ground. It looked like it was Jaquarius Landrews. Sorry, that's Williams, 13. That forces that fumble and Ruggs in good position. Great tackle by Williams. Linebackers in particular. From the five. Harris trying to run it in there. And second effort. He will get there. Touchdown, Alabama. So in the end, they get the score anyway. And it doesn't look like Mississippi State has much of a chance when they get down inside the five. It's been Najee Harris pre predominantly and as well as they have traditionally this season. But they look like they're yeah, getting better. LSU. And they were doomsday. They were in big trouble right from the opening start. Three critical They'll mistakes. Throw the records out. Right. And they should. Both teams, I guess. Here's Thomas. By the receiving end, another flag comes in. Holding on the offense, number five. Ten-yard penalty for the spot of the foul. Repeat first down. Eighth penalty, Eighth still outscored LSU 28-13 in the second. Gibson, his first touch will go for a loss. Second and 20. Mississippi State. Here's Tommy Stevens. Take a deep shot down the middle of the field. And hung up too long for Osiris. Well, Diggs almost makes an unbelievable interception. He tries to go up one hand and almost sticks that ball. If he, if he doesn't hit the ground, I think he makes that intercept. From the 15. Conservative running it. Nick Gibson trying to hurdle some people. Just some Waddle gets a shot. Standing at the near side 40. Trying to cover his eyes from the sun. Takes a big time Mississippi State bounce for Tucker Day, and it ends. Billings has got an opportunity. Look at Tua, eight of eight already. 
Here's Brian Robinson on the ground. His first carry. And pushing it in. Uh, yes, left I think handed. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was told I was incorrect on all those. Here's Brian oh, Robinson. Yeah, go with whatever. Intelligent, you want. creative. <laughs> Here's the left hander to a Tonga Bailoa. Down the sideline. Touchdown. Well, that was creative. Jalen Waddle, 35 yard score. And Bama made that. Because Waddle was running an out route, and Tua just throws it up. He sees one on one and steps up and just gives him an opportunity. Waddle was running to the outside, was looking over his left shoulder, picks the ball up in the air. Watch here, he's running a corner out. He's looking over his left shoulder, and then, oh, there's the ball. I'm going to go up. I don't think that was a design out and up. Maybe it was. Looks like three adjustments by Waddle on that ball. That's the reality of what the committee might be saying. Right. That was your eye test. Fair catch. For Isaiah Zuber. You see him Two tonight. DJ Fleck, of course. Here's Kylan Hill, the ball carrier. As the Bulldogs Four try to really start. green after him. Second down and seven. Out to Hill. Good second effort. Pick up a few anyway. Here's Steven steps and fires underneath to Steven Gidry. He's shy of the first 45-yard punt in the air on an angle. See how he stays in bounds. It does not. That's that was, was coming in off their first loss. That's the guy's a strange brew, yeah. Yeah, trying to rub it in just a little bit. Home team. Deep shot for Jerry. Jr. That was Anthony Gonzalez and, and Ted Ginn Jr. from Ohio State and Bowie and Craig Davis from LSU. Najee Harris on the ground for the first down. After the play was over, personal foul, offense number 85. 15 yards to the city spot. A first down had been gained, therefore it is first down. Now that's two times that Alabama offensively, first time was on Landon Dickerson, the center, and now this Kendall Randolph, the tight end, who's also a, an offensive tackle, just cleaning up the pile. And that drives him crazy, right? That's, that's in all, that's the fourth personal foul so far against Alabama. Here's Harris. Yeah, it's the Mac Wilson, right, that goes in the, in the fifth round, and, and he knew it going in. Here's Tonga by law. All sorts of time for Tonga by Loa. And it's Devontae. And throw the ball, you're asking for trouble. Bit of a high snap. Tonga by Loa able to bring it down, and Harris, second down and 10. Nine to go in the half. Tonga Bailoa down the sideline. It's Devontae Smith. There's their uniform numbers. On first and ten. Tonga Bailoa just too far out in front. Morris falling on their shoulders. Like Errol Thompson in the middle. Tonga Bailoa to Judy underneath. And he'll be pushed back. Aquarius you can Land. say all you want about Jerry Judy and his speed, but watch him right here. He's right here, and he sees this defender. What does he do? He sits down in the pocket right there in zone coverage, friendly to the quarterback. About how fast he is in his routes, but his knowledge of the game is second to none. Good fake. Harris winds up. A quarterback like that is immeasurable. Here is Judy. Turn in the corner. And he'll be bumped just outside the five. It's Harris able to stand up in the end zone. Touchdown. Najee Harris's fourth touchdown of the game. That's just way too passive for Mississippi State defensively. You got guys that are in the end zone. You got three linebackers that aren't coming up and taking on blocks. Lewis gets blocked. Thompson gets blocked. And he just walks into the end zone. That's way too easy. Five possessions by Alabama, and they've been perfect. And on this afternoon, it even the extra point, and get up 100%. I would, have, I would have let Mac Jones go out and play and, uh, and see how it went and go from there. You could always bring two off the bench if you need that. can easily flare up on you. On the ground, Isaiah Zuber. Other teams, right. But against LSU, uh, that game was lost in the first half. Pressure. Tommy Stevens off his back foot, just throws it up. It doesn't and go your way. way. There's third down and eight. Stevens under pressure, was hit up high as he released. And down the sideline. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense, 15-yard penalty, previous spot. Automatic first down. 
It's Xavier McKinney that came through on offense. Back on the ground, a Kylan Hill. For some more Davis Wade magic here this afternoon. Not so far. Here's Hill again trying to turn the corner. And he will launch himself and do some other things away from the football. And he's tried to do that and said he answered the challenge. Let's see if Zuber got a foot. This is in. nothing new. There's Tucker Daly, former amateur hockey player, junior Nashville Predators. And Jalen Waddle will get a shot to return one. Staying on his feet. Running around. It's a 39. He jumped the gun a little bit on putting to his bed, uh, to his day to bed. Tua Tugavailoa is still in there. As if he was done for the day. And not the case, and that goes. And looking for more in the final three minutes of this first half. Comes out throwing. On the run. Pressure from behind. And that's where Nick Saban is thinking. Where's Mac Jones? He's down. Leo Lewis. Just about the full weight of both of them on Tunga by Lower there. And the helmet comes off. You see instantly in pain. Yeah. And the stadium, even on the road. It's a fourth down. And Alabama's punting for the first time. Dedrick Thomas, Mississippi State at their own 26. And it's Kylan Hill on the ground trying to turn the corner. A flag comes in. Holding on the offense, number 78. The penalty is 10 yards in spot of the foul. Repeat first down. Molly. He did his hip, and uh, he was in a lot of pain. Quick screen out to Kylan Hill. That was just so that's secondary. And that's the same side he had the ankle injury on, but I don't think that's what that was. Tommy Stevens throw as he was hit. Able to complete a short yeah, pass. And that was not good news. There's third and 13. Pressure on Stevens. Steps up out of it. And will run for two yards. Raquan Davis brought him down. And Davis is up, getting up slowly. Well, not getting up at all for now. That's Raquan Davis to the half. He was injured. Got a little pressure. Caho nearly got there for Alabama. And on the return. There's a seam for Jalen Waddle, and he's up to midfield, regardless. And a fair catch will bring it out to the 25. Been out there. Uh, to, to me, the thing that was a little bit uh, different was Mac Jones was warming up on the sideline, okay? And so been more perfect on Alabama's offense. They had five possessions. Their first five all went for touchdowns. Here's Tommy Stevens. Breaking one down the middle in the field and still running to the 30. And sort of taken down. Stevens will hand off to Kylan Hill. You could not have a worse 35-7 lead in college football. Dedrick Thomas took it off the grass. To talk to the, the Mississippi State head coach. Exactly. Having nothing to do with Alabama. Here's Stevens on the run. On the long two. It is Hill. It is between the tackles. Try to reach for it, and I don't think he got there. Anthony oh, Jennings. Team. Jones will throw. And complete to Jerry Judy. Judy will back, and then for whatever reason, he changed his mind, and that's the thing at 35 7. And why leave him in there? Najee Harris still on his feet. When you get hurt, you'll make those decisions, but. The risk associated with it is, is kind of what you're trying to mitigate at that point in the game. Harris, nice spin move. Close. Second down and two. Harris, good second effort. Still on his feet. Feet such a, a hard here to, to slow down Alabama. Mac Jones throwing into an open area, and Henry Ruggs fills that oh, area. Quickly. No one knows how long they're going to need Mac Jones for. Nothing doing that He's time. An Alabama kid. On the ground, Harris. He'll lean drive. Forward. But also, they might have his starting quarterback out here now. So you got to think about Mac Jones. How much you want to play him? There's Ruggs. He takes a big shot. A couple of key defensive linemen from Alabama. Henry Ruggs shaking up. 
They get the ball back. Be interested to see who comes out. The glare of the sun and the fair catch. Chaos in front of them from everybody. Honest, honestly. Hospital. Kyle. Tuscaloosa is some 50 minute drive from here. They might be taking them right back home, if not for the fact they have to have the ambulance back here at the stadium. Stevens from the 45. Inside handoff to Hill. Bloody nose. Yeah. And that was hardly the worst of it. Believed to be a hip injury. And headed out of the stadium now. Bama brings some pressure. Stevens able to get out of there. Throwing on the run. And completing. Stevens just extending the play. Barmore was free. Rusher in the backfield and looked like Mitchell's foot was his foot out of bounds his left yes yeah his he's left out foot all there's out of bounds so just an incomplete time pass out. Mississippi State first time out of the half probably not no. like you're thinking about to a tongue of I law his well being some pressure on day they punt from that part of the field on fourth and 11. Say, listen this Alabama team is definitely not the same with Mac Jones a quarterback than, than to a tongue of I law and, and a lot of people are going to guarantee them anything. Jones throwing and completing. Okay, to what Devontae. do they look like against a, a one-loss Oregon team, potentially? You see a completion there to Devontae Smith. Right. And how... Devontae Smith. Got some running room. There is a flag down as Smith runs down the sideline. Forced out. Illegal motion. Offense number six. Five-yard penalty from the previous spot. Repeat first down. Smith wipes out his own explosive there. Been among the uh, the worst in, in flags throughout the SEC. Brian Robinson is the ball. Yeah, Alabama yeah. with a 38-7 lead. And the score and the outcome has become really an afterthought. Third down and four. In and out of the hand. Is Ty Pirine. Got a true freshman punter. And they let it bounce. And it will be down in. Coaching staff. It was his family that told him go back to school. Here's Tommy Stevens. This has been Mississippi State's best offense on the national watch list. Go to ESPN.com slash Taco Bell. See how your school can compete or get the committee's attention. Just does everything well. Should be enough to play on Sunday. Except Flag down to Stevens takes off. Does everything well except he just jumped offside. Offside. Defense number 33. Penalty is declined. Results of the play. First down. He was injured and lost for the remainder of the game. On the ground, it's Nick Gibson. So interesting. Stevens, with that beard, he did look like the most interesting man. Stevens will throw this time. Sounds like they've had consecutive top 25 recruiting classes. So help might be on the way. Here's Gidry. Set up the screen to him, and he's able to get the first down. After further review, quarterback did not take a shot. Here's Gibson. Forced out of bounds. Now they love him there, College Football Hall of Famer. He's one of the big reasons that Martin Emerson came here, the true freshman. Here's Gibson. Gonna throw for it. Under pressure. Now does throw and it's caught. Steven Gidry. Well, Just talking about the line. So I didn't want to wait that long. Uh, I went to the to-go mm -hmm. section. 12th play of the drive here. And that's well, Gaffron. It's good to see some new blood, right? It's new blood. Getting Baylor in the conversation. Getting Minnesota in the conversation. Joe Moorhead was interesting. We talked to him yesterday on third down and 10. The hard hitting continues. Mm -hmm. Stevens the throw. Let's it rip. Bit high. Deal. All here should be a big deal everywhere. Doesn't matter what day of the week or what the calendar says. Still managed to have a 4.0 grade point average. Good on him. It's Brian Robinson. Second down and three. That's Robinson. 
do that in the SEC, right? You've always had Alabama with two guys. Nice block picked up. And, and, it, and still Mac Jones remains in there at quarterback. Playoff shot. We've never had a college football playoff without Alabama. Mac Jones just too far. Yeah, and they went to Juco and they told him you got to play defense. I never backpedaled before. Incomplete pass on their first five possessions. And here's Mac Jones taking his own shot of the end zone. And the Bulldogs will take over. Stevens just run ahead decade, for a couple. Every, every season this decade, one of just five SEC teams that can make that claim. Gibson. Trying to give this crowd something to cheer about. Bring those cowbells. Pressure is picked up. Stevens a throw on the run. And they lost six games with Nick Saban as their head coach. And that was the last time Mississippi State beat Alabama. That was 2007. receivers, because they haven't been running the ball as consistently as they have in the past either. It's Nick Gibson. Here's Stevens. Hit hard. Rocket. As we hit the final minute. Quite possibly the final commercial break. Here it starts. Tied. And the handoff on first down. Bullet. Final 20 seconds now. Again, it's Keelan Robinson, the true freshman from Washington, D.C. Spins for the first down. This is the worst possible 38-7 victory you can have in college football. The decision to start Tua and leave him in the game will be contested and discussed for weeks to come.